In this class, we are going to learn about Maxwell's equations. Maxwell equations are a set of coupled partial differential equations form the foundation of classical electromagnetics. An important consequence of Maxwell's equation is that they demonstrate how fluctuating electric and magnetic fields propagate at a constant speed in vacuum. Maxwell proposed four equations to describe electromagnetic fields. All the four electromagnetic equations are also known as Maxwell equations. All these equations are based on fundamental laws of ambient circuital law, Faraday's law of induction, Gauss law for magnetism. Today we study the first the Maxwell equation he derived from the Ambus, Ambus law. Ambus law states that the line integral of magnetic field intensity H stands for magnetic field intensity the line integral of magnetic field intensity on any closed path is equal to the current enclosed by the path I. This expression we can rearrange as the relationship between I and the current density J is so I by dS. dS is small surface area. So current divided by this surface area is equal to current density. From this expression I equal to J dS. So, so the ambient circuit law can be rearranged in terms of J as surface integral of the current density and this. In general, the total current involves both conduction current and displacement current. So, current we can classify as IC and ID. IC is the conduction current and ID is the displacement. A current through a resistive element is called conduction current. Whereas a current through a capacitive element due to the varying electric field across the plate is the displacement current. Last class we derived the expression of conduction current density Jc is equal to sigma E. Where Jc is nothing but I by conduction current divided by area. So Ic is sigma E. E A. Let us take this as equation number 1. And similarly, the displacement current density ID by A to the JD is the partial derivative of magnetic field density. Let us take this as equation number 2. The total current density is nothing but the current density due to the conduction current plus the current density due to the displacement current. So this is the J, the total current density. Substitute J here. So I become, so this expression becomes Jc plus Jd dS. Let us take this as equation number 3. By substituting 1 and 2 in equation number 3, so 1 and 2 in equation number 3, this expression becomes This is JC plus JD into DS. This becomes surface integral. JC is sigma E plus the partial derivative of electric field density. Yes. 
So this is the Maxwell equation in integral form. This is the expression of Maxwell equation in integral form from Ampere's law. By applying Stokes theorem, the line integral of magnetic field intensity can be written as surface integral of curl of magnetic field intensity. Let us take this is equation number 4 and equation number 5. So we can compare equation number 5 and 4. So surface integral of is nothing but sigma e plus partial derivative of kinetic field density. As both are surface integral function, we can change the integral form and we can bring the we can equate the function on both sides. So this becomes So we know the uh, the relationship with, between d and e. So d is epsilon e. Substitute here. So this expression becomes this is Maxwell's equation in differential or point form from Ambius law. So this law states that the macro the magnetomotive force around a closed path. So the magnetomotive force around a closed path is equal to sum of conduction current and displacement current enclosed by the path. So the magnetic force around a closed path. So this is the force around a closed path is nothing but the sum of the conduction current and displacement current enclosed by the path. That's the end of this video. In the next video we will study the Maxwell's equation from Faraday's law.